I promise you a good example around this hump day. Now we have nationally known comedian who's headed our way, Jeff Shaw, joining us this morning. Jeff, it's great to see you. You're headed our way. You're going to be performing Thursday through Saturday at the Caravan Comedy Club. And so let's let's start here. You've got what I would say is a very unique comedy story. So can you tell that in a few minutes or less? Uh, yes, uh, I started uh, stand-up comedy in 1987 at the old Cleveland Comedy Club with Drew Carey and Steve Harvey. Um, I'm not sure what those two losers are doing now, but I'm headlining Louisville this weekend. <laughs> and um, in 1987, I opened for Tim Allen, and uh, he said, wow, Jeff, you're a very funny young man. You're going to be a star before I am. So now you know why Tim hosted Tool Time and not the Psychic Friends Network. <laughs> but uh, I worked uh, stand-up comedy clubs for almost 20 years. I was a freelance writer in the uh, 90s and early 2000s, writing humorous essays like Dave Beer. I even had some things published in the local Rio Weekly. And then I became a staff writer for American Greetings in 2004, writing all the greeting cards like a modern-day Mr. Deeds. And when I got laid off... I um, went to go work for Carnival Cruise Lines, who I had been a headlining comedian for, and I worked as their comedy club manager and helped install their punchline or comedy club program on 26 ships. And I retired after 10 years because 10 years of being a Carnival crew member, working 100 hours a week on four hours sleep, 10 months at a time, can prematurely age a guy. I mean, look at me. I'm 28. <laughs> And so I returned to stand-up comedy full-time in 2017, and my career was humming along until all this happened. And, you know, and I, I, I taped America's Got Talent, and it didn't air because of a shortened 2020 schedule. But I have to tell you, Angie, uh, although I've lost all my big paying cruise gigs and casino gigs and TV gigs for the rest of the year, I'm in a great mood because to tell you the truth, this is the first time in my entire life where losing my job wasn't my fault. <laughs> they take some solace in all of that. Uh -huh. Now, Jeff, your, your industry has been hit very hard. We all know that. But I mean, right now, when we talk to people on Great Day Live, people want to know how they can help others. They want some hope and they want some humor. And that's what the caravan is offering when you come to town for this holiday week and the latter half of it, but in a safe manner. Right. So, I mean, people are going to, they're going to laugh. They're going to have a good time. Right. We're calling the shows the spooky comedy shows. And uh, in 2020, life is spooky and scary enough. So we're going to take great precautions. The staff will be wearing masks and practicing all the CDC guidelines. We'll have um, a unique seating diagram so that people are socially distanced. The comedians will be you know wearing ppe you know before and after their sets and i sell merchandise after my shows all my merchandise is uh, uh sanitized pre-signed and sealed and uh we really uh, the entire comedy industry is really taking this seriously and almost every comedy well, every comedy club i've worked um does their best to um create a very safe and comfortable environment for their guests and you know what i've never been one of those people that um I never understood why people wouldn't want to wear a mask to work. I mean, I think if you wear a mask to work, it's much easier than faking a smile all day, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I have to go back to that, though. I really appreciate it that, I mean, there's nothing funny about COVID and the seriousness of it, but right. the fact is we do for mental health need, humor, and all that. I mean, I will just tell you, Jeff, the best part about wearing a mask is I don't have to do any makeup from about here. Right. But I'm an eye smiler. Like you, you can't help but to know when I'm smiling because I, <laughs> I do that. But tell me this. I mean, just because it's we've been hit with COVID, you've been giving it all you got. Tell me about and tell us about mm -hmm. two Fs. Oh, well, um, I am going to be, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, writing. I've been working, doing a lot of virtual shows, and I really love doing the virtual shows. Uh, and I, I do a lot of them for corporations, and they tell me that their employees really enjoy teleconferencing from home so much that they even fight over 
who gets to um, run the Zoom meetings. Um, that makes sense to me because nothing makes a Monday morning meeting more enjoyable, quite like a mute button. <laughs> All right, everybody, Sharon from accounting is something she'd like to share with us today. Oh, no, Sharon, I don't think so. Boop. There'll be no Sharon from Sharon today. In fact, I'm going to mute myself, crank up the Monday morning Metallica, and make it look like I'm agreeing with you people. <laughs> so um, most of the comedians I know have taken this as a challenge. I've uh, spent all day writing, uh, working on my career, trying to get as many virtual shows and try to line up you know, a lot of comedy club gigs for the future when everything opens up. But I'm very proud of the fact that um, on tour records, on tourrecords.com, based in Frankfurt, is going to be releasing my stand up comedy album this fall. It's called Jeff with two F's. So um, putting a new product out there and being able to promote it online um, has given me, you know, a new purpose. And I'm very proud of this. It's been 30 years and this is the first official album I've done with a, a label. And it's called Jeff with two F's because of something that happened to me in a Starbucks not too long ago. Um, as you can tell, I'm a pretty um, upbeat guy and there's really nothing threatening about me. You know, I mean, look at me. I look like Jane Lynch's stunt double. OK, um, but uh, the great thing is, you know, I have um, I have a very high voice but a perfect voice for politics. If I were ever to go into politics, this voice would protect me from political scandals. I did not have romantic relations with that woman. Oh, don't worry, buddy, we believe you. <laughs> but the great thing about not being threatening is when I'm a smart aleck off stage in everyday life, I make people laugh. And that's so much better than upsetting them. I was in the Starbucks not too long ago. And um, well, actually it was, it was, it was last year. And uh, the barista said, can I have your name for the cup? I said, yes, it's Jeff. And she said, is that Jeff with one F or Jeff with two Fs? And I said, two Fs, good catch. Because I'd hate to see what would happen if you only wrote down one F. <laughs> Skinny decap latte for Jeff. Skinny decap latte for Jeff. Jeff. Oh, excuse me, miss. Are you saying Jeff or are you saying Jeff? Because <laughs> it sounds like you're saying Jeff with one F and I'm Jeff with two Fs. And I'd hate for there to be multiple Jeffs in this establishment, each who had a, a disparate number of Fs in his Jeff, both who ordered the same skinny decaf latte. She said, is there something wrong with you? I said, that depends. Is that you with one U or two U's? <laughs> Are you allowed in Starbucks anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like me there. <laughs> I make them laugh. Well, Jeff, thank you so much, Jeff, with two Fs. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Cannot wait to have you in town. Jeff oh, Shaw. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Jeff will be headlining the Caravan Comedy Club Thursday through Saturday this week. That's right. All the way through Halloween right here in Louisville, where the club is located at 1250 Bardstown Road. Just visit thecaravan2017.com for all the information.